Hey guys, it's me Astrid and today I wanted to show you um, some orchids I got from an order by Hauserman. I have heard nothing but good from about orchids by Hauserman the entire time I've been growing orchids, so like the last three years I've heard nothing but good. And I've always looked at their website but I never bought anything from them because nothing struck my fancy. But one of you, I don't remember who it was, but one of you jerks from Workaholics Anonymous posted a picture of this beautiful orchid with the ID. So of course I looked it up and then I saw that it was like only 18 bucks and so of course I had to buy it. So thank you for contributing to my financial demise via plants. Thanks a lot, asshole. Just kidding, I'm really happy with that I have these plants now. Um, but anyway, yeah, for the Too Long Don't Read crowd, Orchids by Hauserman, excellent. The plants were packaged wonderfully. They sent a care sheet for a bunch of different genera of orchids. Um, it arrived in a reasonable amount of time. Shipping wasn't bad, and the plants are all super healthy. So A plus to you guys. I will absolutely order from you again if you carry something I want, and I would recommend Orchids by Hauserman to everyone. Now, let's look at a little highlight reel from me opening the box from them. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> you know what kind of orchid this is? Ooh. Oh, super cute. Oh. Girl, you see what genus this is? It's a peasant orchid, I'm guessing. Oh, <gasps> they're so pretty. <gasps> oh my God. I hope you enjoyed my excitement. Now, I was so excited when I first did the filming of this that I didn't actually give the tag of one of the orchids and I was all over the place and it took 10 minutes. So I thought I'd condense this down a little bit and just show you the fun bits. First, we've got Dendrobium stratiotes. This is a seedling that's about two to three years from blooming, and it is way cute. I think this is a warm grower. I think it takes Cattleya light, I think. What does it say on here? I don't know, but it's really cute. And it's in the spatulata section of dendrobiums, meaning it has little antenna, antennae. If you showed me a picture of the flower of this orchid next to the picture of a dendrobium antenatum, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. They're both super, super cute. And I threw my dendrobium antenatum away last summer because I was scared that it was sick or whatever. I was still kind of doing noob shit last summer. Um, but I've been wanting to replace it ever since, and I've been really bummed out because I couldn't find one for the right price. But this Den Stratiotes was about eight bucks, super cheap, and it gives me an opportunity to practice raising seedlings, so I'm really excited for this. Next baby is Clausia Rebecca Northen Mikabi, and that's a cross of Grace Dunn with Rosia. So this, this orchid is super duper healthy. And yes, Astrid got another catacetinae type orchid. I am still in my first year of growing these and having these, but I'm so excited about them. They're wonderful. I really like them because they go dormant in the winter and you can ignore them for several months. And then when they come out of dormancy, they start growing so fast that it's so exciting that you can almost see them growing every day. So they're either zero or a hundred, and I kind of like that because that's the kind of person I am. Now, clausias are really small. They're used in the parentage of a lot of catacetinae types, I think, to help them grow smaller because a lot of catacetinae types can be real big, and this helps to miniaturize them. I think the clausia Rebecca Northern Maccabi is supposed to have pink flowers, and have a citrusy fragrance, but we'll see. Guess what? We have Phalaenopsis Young Home Princess Big Lip. Yeah, I special ordered for a peasant orchid. And that's the orchid someone posted on Orchid Board. They're like, oh, look at these flowers. They're so pretty, and here's the ID. And I'm like, shit, goodbye, money. And I got this. These are the ones I was squealing about in the in the intro of the video. This makes me so happy. This is a big healthy plant. Big fat roots. Like check these roots. 
wonderful. I'm probably going to repot this because I think it's just in straight up sphagnum moss. Guys, you can grow orchids in straight sphagnum moss. It's not going to kill them. The only thing that kills them is that you don't know how to water them in whatever growing medium they're in. Just saying. Now, let's look at these blooms. I love me some big-lipped Phalaenopsis orchids, and this is no exception. This is stunning. Look at the spots on the lip. Look at the pink. Look at the veining. This is a winner. Um, it's also a winner because it spent four days in the mail, and yet its buds are still opening. These buds didn't blast. Knock on wood, but these buds did not blast, and I am just flabbergasted. This has me happy. I love me some big lip fowls. And all the shit I talk about Phalaenopsis is always a joke. I love Phalaenopsis orchids. They're my favorite. No, they're not my favorite. I take that back. Don't quote me on that. They're fun and they're beautiful. And this is, this is no exception. And the buds didn't blast in the mail. Thank you, Orchids by Hauserman. Thank you everyone for watching. And I hope you really enjoyed this video. Happy growing. Have a nice day.